y'all, how are y'all doing today? Today I'm going to be kind of taking my first ride on Indy. I'm going to be doing it bareback. These last few days I've been just sitting on her, rubbing all over her, and now I'm actually going to tell her to walk. I just, <laughs> I just got her out of her stall, and every morning, y'all, she has a ton of energy, and she like cannot stand still. So that's why I'm going to run her right now. Let her all her energy out, and y'all see how much calmer she'll be after she runs. Because you're just a big ball of energy, aren't you? Yes, you are. All right, y'all, I'm going to run her. Come on, Indy. It's just starting to rain. Oh no, my plan was to film this for y'all today, but it's not that heavy, but it's raining. I don't know, what I, I have this tarp. I could kind of like prop the tarp up because I really want y'all to see me try to get her to walk first. Hmm, I just finished brushing her. I haven't cleaned out her hooves yet, but she's just there tied up. What am I gonna do? Okay, y'all are gonna go under the tarp, all right, because I want to make this work. Let's see. How's that? I know y'all see the tarp a little bit, but hey, at least y'all can watch me, right? Okay, that's awesome. All right, cool. All right, so I'm just gonna turn it off and I'll catch y'all black, black, <laughs> back when I'm trying to sit on her and ride her and all that. Hey y'all, I know, I didn't film all day, what was wrong? I was really busy. After I worked with Indy, I did Journey, then I think we got a little bit of rain, a little more rain, as y'all saw, and then, yeah, a lot of stuff happened. I can't remember everything that happened. We were just busy with just normal life stuff. And right now, y'all, it is 11 o'clock at night. Ah, oh, these last couple nights, it's been getting late. I can't believe it's getting this late. And then I tend to kind of sleep in longer, and that's not really good because I like to get an early start on things. But anyways, y'all, I was about to turn off my light and go to bed. I was like so tired because I just got done answering comments, emails, and I was researching something. But yeah, I was about to turn off my light, and I saw my camera sitting next to my light. I'm like, I barely talk today. I should turn on my camera and just kind of chat with y'all before I go to bed. And I'm really tired right now, so sorry if I look like I'm really tired. <laughs> so today, as I shared with y'all, I kind of took my first ride on Indy. I, today, the last couple days, I've been getting her used to me on, as, ooh, <laughs> tongue twister. Um, the last, <laughs> these last couple days, I've been, oh my soul, how do I rest? These last couple days, <laughs> I've been, Having her, no, these last couple days, I've been, yeah, having her getting used to me. Okay, that's weird. Oh my God, <laughs> I'm sorry y'all. Yeah, but these last few days, couple days, I've been getting her used to me on top of her back and all over her. And then so today, as I saw, as I, <laughs> okay, it's obviously too late for me to think right now. But yeah, I was, oh, I can't think right now. Um, hold on, give me one minute to think. Yeah, so I've been rubbing all over these last couple days, and today I was like, I'm gonna give her the cue to go forward and kind of start riding around now that she's then now that she's used to me on top of her back. So as a lot of y'all know, I I went on her, I clicked to her, and she did not move. <laughs> and then I kind of kicked her, you know, and she didn't move. <laughs> she's just like just standing there. I'm like. Hmm, because that's funny because a lot of it is that I saw once you can click to the horse and give them the cue to go forward. Some of them might be more lazy than others, but they do go, they walk, you know, they go forward and all that. But indeed did not move. And I'm like, hmm. So that's what I was researching tonight. I was kind of just researching like, when your horse doesn't want to walk, like first ride type of thing. Because I've researched that you don't want to keep, like if they're just standing there, and if you just, okay, 
talking for a little while. But if you're, she's just standing there and you keep kicking her to go, it's like then she won't be sensitive anymore to make her go because you're, she's just sitting there and you're like kicking her and she's just like sleeping. <laughs> and then she's just like <laughs> standing there sleeping when I was kicking her. So I have a couple more things because I do not want that to happen where she's just not sensitive at all or not listening to me. You know, she's like, she's like seriously sleeping there. She's like, oh yeah, keep kicking me. It feels good. <laughs> I was like, it's not her fault. She, it's all new to her. And I am learning right beside her. Every horse is different with everything. So it's, it's pretty cool and it's very interesting and it's fun to research. I'm so thankful for the, re the what's the word? I'm not as, I wasn't going to say technology, but for the resources that we have nowadays to look up things that we need help on. Like for a course training, for instance, you can look that up on YouTube and there's seriously like so many horse trainers on there and they kind of, everyone has their own twist kind of on there, you know, like of how they do certain things. But it's good to get people to different ideas and try different things on your horse. And if that, this one way didn't really work, you can try another way. That's what's really cool about all this. So I'm really excited to try this with Indy. So I'm going to be trying that tomorrow, a couple new things. And introduce her to the saddle. So it's going to be super fun tomorrow. But also tomorrow, y'all, almost five minutes, um, I want to, oh, sorry. And also tomorrow, y'all, we're going to be heading to Tractor Supply. We need a few things. I want to get dewormer for Indy. She hasn't been dewormed yet, I don't think ever. So I want to deworm her. we got to get salt licks and animal feed and all that. But anyways, y'all, I'm going to go to bed. It's 11.15 now. I really need to go to bed so that I don't sleep in because that won't be good. Because I want to get an early start before we go to Tractor Supply. Anyways, y'all, I'll see y'all in the morning when I'm with Indy. And I pray that everything that I do with Indy, it won't be confusing for her, and I hope that she understands what I'm trying for her to do. Was I filming like this the whole time? Was I? That's terrible. I should have been filming like that. That's what happens when you're tired and you're filming at 11.15 at night. You get careless. Alright. Good night. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Good afternoon, everyone. It is a beautiful day today. It's so nice outside. And we were busy all morning, so now I'm down here and I'm going to be working with the fillies here. I'm going to be doing indie here first, and I'm going to put the saddle on her. So we'll see how this goes. Each horse reacts different for the first time being saddled. Some of them have a bigger reaction than others. Some of them kind of buck and freak out, and or some other ones kind of act like it's not that big of a deal. So we'll see how Indy takes it today. I'm just going to let introduce her to it, put on her back, on and off. Do all that kind of stuff and then I'm gonna tighten it. I'm not gonna tighten it like so tight, but I'm gonna just tighten it, lunch her with it. Let's do this, y'all. Okay, so my battery is seriously about to die like any second. So I got the saddle on Indy. She was, uh, she didn't buck or anything, so that's really good. But she was scared of the stirrups flapping up and down. But at the end, she calmed down. So now I'm just gonna let her stand there tied and rest for a while. Now I'm gonna go up to the house and get a drink of water and change my battery. I'll be right back down to her. Y'all don't worry, when the horses are tied up, it's really good patience for them to learn. And I'm leaving her tied up with her saddle on, so it's really good. 
So like, I'm all like, oops, I have my bad tripod on because so I can wrap it around the fence. So that's why it's bending. Yep, sure enough, my battery did die. I just went up to the house, got some water, grabbed my hat because the sun's out and it's really warm outside. As I was saying, the failure is gonna be coming and we're getting all four horses done. And he's gonna be trimming all four horses' feet. We can get Bucky, Precious, Indy, and Journey. Now I just have to go get Bucky. Mark already has Precious. And then we're gonna do the two fillies as well. So we'll see how this goes. And it looks like he just put up. All right. So the fair left and Indy did really, really well. She did better than I expected. She stood there really well. A couple times she might have kind of jumped a little bit or moved, kind of, but she did really good first, first time. We got Bucky and Precious done. Bucky got some new shoes on. And, oh yeah, Journey didn't even need to get done. Her feet, since I've been walking her on the road a lot, she has really good feet. And of her walking on the road, it kind of trims her hooves and they're just perfectly round and they're like glossy. Like her feet are really, really well. I guess she's just bred really well. Oh yes, I brought an extra battery down. Just so, just so if the battery dies again, I got a replacement. I thought smart this time. I'm just gonna leave it right up there and I'm gonna set you all up here. I didn't even tell you what I was doing. I'm gonna be putting the saddle on Indy here again. And my plan is if she's calm about it, as you all saw, she was kind of jumping when I was shaking the stirrups, but she did calm down. So we'll see how her reaction is the second time. If she will act jump yell over again or if she'll kind of just forget about it. Be like, oh yeah, I remember. So we'll see y'all. All right, y'all. We are outside and today I'm filming. So don't worry that I set out my camera for nothing. <laughs> I'm going to get into here right now. It usually takes me about two or three trips to get, usually three trips, to get everything that I need from the barn here, like the saddle, the saddle pad, the brushes, my stick, the rope, and then I got the rope halter here and her lead line. So I'm gonna go get Indy, y'all, and yeah, let's do this for real. <laughs> I got Indy here. She is super dirty, so I'm just gonna let her run around a little bit, and then I'm gonna brush her, and then we'll start saddling. better with the saddling. She's more freaked out about the pad than the saddle, which I think is funny. <laughs> but yeah, hold on. Now I'm going to lunge her with the saddle here. See, I'm going to go get my stick. Do y'all see how she's not coming back to me? Like how she's just sticking her head in the corner. She's being disrespectful and she's like, nah, I don't want to get you. So what I just keep doing, I keep running her. And then when I stop her, the time she comes to me, then I'll stop running her. But as for now, I'm going to keep running her. And I think some, I saw a video and they put like the running in slow motion. So that's what I'm going to do. So y'all, Indy is tied and I don't know y'all, today might be the day that I take my first ride on her. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see y'all, we'll see. Let's go to the house for a little bit and I'll be back down.
Y'all, I still cannot believe that I just wrote Indy. She did amazing. She did so good. I was just out there in the rolling pen and I'm like, I think today is the day. And so I just gave it a shot and I wrote her and she did amazing. I just walked her around, turned her left and right and she did really, really good. I also wrote her later on that evening and she did just as good. So that is super awesome. And I wanted to tell y'all that Y'all follow me on my Instagram, I'm the Joyful Life in Texas because I give a whole bunch of sneak peeks on my Instagram before I post my video like of me writing Journey, like, oh not Journey, <laughs> I mean Indie. I've already posted that on my Instagram quite a few days ago before this video is posted. So my Instagram is kind of like a whole bunch of sneak peeks and a lot more. So yeah. Someone asked me about my horse training, and I just want to let you know, not every horse is the same, so not one training method is going to work for every horse. My mom said it's kind of like kids, not the same like school curriculum works for like every single kid, and you know how every kid is different, that's the same thing with the horse. <laughs> Although I do like a more natural kind of training method, but as I said, every horse is different. I'm also out there every day, so I'm just consistent with them, spending a lot of time with them. And I'm always talking to them, like saying, good girl or good boy, and always praising him for the little steps that they do, and always talking to him, and reassuring them that everything's okay and all that. Some of y'all were questioning like, oh, do you still have Journey? Yes, y'all, I still have Journey. I know I haven't really been showing it a lot on my videos or on my Instagram that much, but y'all, I still have Journey. I work with her every day. I take her down the road. I still brush her and do ground manners with her. I still have her. And here coming soon, I have an upcoming video giving an update on everything, the garden, all the other animals and so yeah stay tuned for that today y'all it is actually journey's birthday she is one years old and i already posted on my instagram like a few video clips of her and a picture and all that so yeah little journey is one years old and tomorrow indy is going to be two <laughs> remember their birthdays like right next to each other but anyways y'all i think that's it for today's video I'm super excited that I was able to film me take my first ride on Indy. It was super exciting. It's such, <laughs> taking your first ride on a horse, it's just, it's so rewarding. And when you first get on, you're kind of like, all right, we're going to do this, you know? So it's super cool. But anyways, y'all, thanks so much for watching. And I pray y'all have a really blessed day. And I'll see y'all soon. Bye.